Hello and welcome back to Medium Rare everyone, my name is Rag Reynolds and exactly two months ago today I first spoke about the coronavirus here on this channel. The coronavirus that originated in Wuhan, China. I made a video where I spoke about that and I made numerous videos afterwards talking about it a little more and basically talking about how serious this thing was. I was having this back and forth with some of you guys in the comments about whether or not it was as serious as some people thought, or maybe it wasn't as serious as other people thought. There have been a lot of people who have thought that the media and people in general have been scaremongering about this thing and that it's not that serious. There are other people, on the other hand, who think that the media have not been playing up enough and they've been minimalizing the whole thing. And lots of people uh, in YouTube comments or on social media have also been minimalizing it. And we have seen a mixture of responses to this disease as time has gone on. We've seen countries such as Italy and China go on full lockdowns. People are quarantined, businesses have been closed down, and now this virus has spread all over Europe, it has spread to America, it is all over the world. And it seems that this thing is not slowing down. And as I'm saying, lots of different responses to this thing. Some, some governments have been shutting things down, have been telling people to stay indoors, other governments have been a little bit late to the ball there. But what I want to know is why has no one sat down and tried to have a conversation about this? Why has no one sat down with the virus and said, Hey, look man, this is bad. Your behavior is unacceptable. We cannot tolerate this. It's not good. Please stop. I don't understand why no one has done that. Because you see, what, what if the virus isn't aware that its behavior is bad? What if the virus doesn't know that it's being naughty? Maybe someone needs to tell the virus that it's being bad and that we don't like what it's doing. Maybe someone has to say, please stop. Because as, as of now, we don't know what the virus is thinking. We don't know what's going on there. We don't know what its, what its intentions are. For all we know, it's a, it's a nice little fellow who just wants to get around and socialize. If we sit down and have this conversation with the virus and say, hey, no, that's bad. Stop being naughty or you're going to get spanked. Bad. If we do that, maybe the virus will stop. Maybe it will say, oh my God. I didn't realize this was inappropriate behavior. I am so sorry. Maybe it will retreat. Maybe it'll go into hiding. It'll hibernate. It'll go away because it'll realize, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that you didn't want me to play with you like this. Maybe the virus is just misunderstood. And I think it's wrong of us to judge it so harshly like we have been doing. And for those of you who are maybe getting infected, I mean, I, I don't understand why people don't just say, hey, stop. Stop. Don't, don't enter my body. Go away. I've been doing that, and so far I've been fine, to my knowledge. It seems to respect boundaries since I've been saying, stop, go away, and, oh, look, I'm not healthy, but <laughs> I don't have the virus. So maybe, maybe people could try that. I think that is a far better step than hand washing. Although I still, you, you should probably still hand wash. Hand washing is important. But in all seriousness, everyone, stay safe. Stick in your little self-quarantine. Make sure you've, you've got some food. You've got some toilet roll and all the rest of it. Try to be positive. Stay safe. This virus isn't very good. It is bad. I understand it's bad. And uh, yeah, I think we have to be careful because this is a very serious situation. Now is the time to stop going out into the public. Now is the time to stay home, self-isolate, work from home. If possible, I understand it's not always practical to do these things. It's not always practical, especially if, if you don't go into work. Oh, now you're not getting paid. Now you have no money. I understand that's an issue, but I also understand at the same time a lot of businesses are closing their doors, a lot of employers are closing down because it's just not practical to keep businesses open at this time.
And at the same time, please stop taking everything off the shelves in supermarkets because honestly, I go into the supermarket, I've been into Tesco, I've been into Asda, I've been into so many different supermarkets and I just can't get what I want. And it's honestly, it's such an inco- I'm complaining about an inconvenience while people are dying. First world problems, I suppose. But yeah, stop panic buying so much. Buy what you need. Buy what you need, but don't buy so much. Why do you need 300 toilet rolls? You don't. You don't need 300 toilet rolls. What are you, what are you running? Are you running the whole community or something? Maybe then you can have 300 toilet rolls. But who needs 300 toilet rolls? Even I don't need that many and I've got a fat ass. No, stop all the toilet roll. Stop buying all the pasta as well. You don't need 200 bags of pasta. Maybe buy 10 or something. You don't need to buy so much pasta. You don't need to buy all this hand wash. Why don't you just use soap? Why don't you use soap instead of buying all this hand gel? Or make your own hand gel? Anyway, it's not my place to give advice. Not my place. None of my business. You do what you want. When humanity falls, just know I was here. Reporting on this from the beginning, saying it's the end of the world. Not being serious. But maybe there was a little bit of truth to that. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I think the worst is still yet to come for a lot of the West. Places like Italy, they probably had their worst. China had the worst. But for the West... For America, Canada, the United Kingdom. We've probably got the worst still ahead of us. We're just at the beginning of that little spike. And uh, I'm not excited to see where this goes. But I do think that most of us will prevail. Most of us will persevere. And uh, yeah. It's a really shitty time. <laughs>